The Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, Chargers favored by three. The over-under on this one is 51. Thoughts on this matchup? Uh, I'm going to take the Chargers at home. And I, I believe I'm taking the over here. I think this is this is the one game where I'm kind of believing in the high stakes. Uh, the high stakes scoring, if I'm making sure my notes are correct. Yes. I'm going to take the Chargers in the over. I think they win their home opener. Uh, this, will, this will be the highest scoring game of the week. And I don't know that it's going to be overly close by the time it's said and done with. Um, hell, I think this is one of two overs I took all week long. Like, I, I hit under everywhere. Um, so take that for what it's worth. But I like the Chargers. Kind of a new look offense. I think they're on a little bit of a mission here to amend themselves from the disastrous uh, collapse that they had in the playoffs last year against the Jaguars. And uh, – Herbert is uh, Herbert's kind of one of those dark horse quarterbacks to kind of elevate himself up to that next tier to be really considered with, you know, the top three. And this is kind of the right offense to do it because Kellen Moore loves to chuck the ball around. Yeah, I I'm right there with you on the over. I think this will be the highest scoring game of the week when it's all said and done. I'm going to be on the other side of that uh, that spread though. I'm going to take Miami to to head west and put up a good showing here. It would not surprise me to see Miami walk away with a week one victory on this one here. Uh, so much. So I'm also taking Tua to have a pretty darn good game going over 252 and a half passing yards in this one. I like that. I want I want to take that Herbert prop so bad, but 290 is a massive number for week yep. one. Um, even with thinking that they're going to throw the ball around the yard. Um that's a that's a pretty big number to start the season. So we are going to pivot, and we're going to take Austin Eckler over thirty two and a half. Right? We're going to test test Kellen Moore's ability to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Austin Eckler is definitely one of those, and he is much better. He's much more efficient when receiving the ball than trying to run between the tackles. So we're going to try and put our money where our mouth is here and take Eckler over thirty two and a half receiving. All righty. I like it. Uh, let's see what Mr. Electric can do. I